Now, here is I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. Carol, you are about to see one of the most amazing automobiles you've ever seen in your life. Just to give you a one idea of how revolutionary this is, Jim Street is going to drive it out here by pressing buttons on his little remote control unit. Today, we present to you what may be considered a barn find to many audio enthusiasts and historians, an early autonomous concept car, a technology demonstrator which has been hidden from public view for 50 years, the Golden Sahara II. The Golden Sahara II is remembered as one of the most important custom cars of the 1950s and 60s. While the Golden Sahara I was built by George Barris in 1954, the Golden Sahara II was built during the first nine months of 1958. It featured a complex new electronic control system. In addition to standard steering, it featured a centered unitrol stick like an aircraft and an early concept of radar braking and accident avoidance. In the late 1950s and early 1960s, Neothane tires toured the world on many brands of production autos and many experimental prototypes. When the Golden Sahara II was complete, Goodyear added a revolutionary innovation, Neothane synthetic rubber tires. These tires were translucent and could be internally illuminated. Neothane was an innovation that involved pouring a colored liquid form of synthetic rubber into a hot rotating mold. This created a tire without traditional layers of construction. The Golden Sahara II with Goodyear golden glass slippers toured for six years exposing hundreds of thousands of excited onlookers to what was just a concept in the 50s and 60s. Now it is time folks for the resurrection of the Golden Sahara II. I get a call from Gus, who is one of Meekum's primary associates, and he said, Larry, we've got a very, very rare car coming up, and this car should be in your museum. It's the only one in the world, Larry, one time. Strategy I did it for years, and that's why I always All right, congratulations, Larry. Okay. okay. So it was so popular, and now it is back, and $350,000 worth of bidding later, it's going to a new collection. The Claremont Collection is, consists of many, many, one only, and many unusual cars that don't exist anywhere except in our museum. We have something in our museum that will be nothing like any other car in the world. Yeah.